Hello and welcome back to another video in the Moodle course development series. I'm Joe Deegan, and in this video you'll learn how to compose a web page in Moodle. In the last section you learned how to add files to your course site, but now you may be wondering how to create content for your students with custom web pages. Lucky for you, Moodle makes it easy to create custom web pages with the HTML editor. To compose a custom web page, you'll need to start by turning editing on as usual. So I'll go ahead up to the upper right and click turn editing on, and then I'll need to use the add an activity or resource option to add my web page. So I'll click on add an activity or resource. And then I'm looking for the page option down here in the resources list. So I'll click page and then add. And now we're brought to the page setting screen where we'll start by adding a name and a description as usual. So I'll just call it my test web page. Then I'll enter a description. And then after entering the name and description, I'll scroll down to the page content section where all the magic is going to happen. So this is where I'm going to put all my content for the web page. The nice thing about using Moodle's HTML editor is that you don't need to know any HTML code to create a page. You can simply type in text like I am here, then use these options in the toolbar to do things like add images, videos, and tables just to name a few things. But if you are familiar with HTML, then you can use this HTML button that you see here to toggle to HTML mode where you can enter code. But for now, I'm just going to use the normal what you see is what you get editor so we don't need to use HTML code. And the first option I like to use when creating a web page is to toggle to full screen mode. So if you see this little button right here that says toggle full screen mode when you hover your mouse over it, I'll go ahead and click that. As you can see, now I'm in full screen mode where I have a lot more room to create my page and I'm not bound to that little tiny box. So let me go ahead and get the page started by entering some text in here. I'll go ahead and copy and paste some text in here just to get things moving, but that's something you're going to want to be careful with. Because if you copy and paste directly from a program like Microsoft Word, then you'll have some formatting issues. So I always recommend copy and pasting into Notepad or some other kind of note program, and then into the HTML editor. So I'll go ahead and paste it in here. And so now that I've got some text, I'll go ahead and add an image. And the easiest way to add an image to the screen is by using this image icon right here. So I'll click the Insert Edit Image icon. And then from here, I'm going to want to click on the Find or Upload an Image button. And then now we have all the repositories that we talked about earlier. So if you have a repository with an image that you wanted to use, or if you wanted to use something like the Flickr repository, you'd be able to choose it from here. But we'll go ahead and upload something from my computer. So I'll click the Browse button, and then I'll find this Moodle logo. And then after selecting it, I'll just click Upload this file. Okay, and there's my image. Now I also have these tabs up here, Appearance and Advanced, if I want to change how it looks. So let me click on this Appearance one. And the big one you'll want to pay attention to is alignment. So right now it's not set. We'll change it so it's aligned to the left. And you can see here it gives you a preview of how it looks. So you could mess with the dimensions also to change the size. So if you wanted to make it smaller, you can say change this to 300 pixels. And because I have it set to constrained proportions, it'll also automatically adjust that. And then something else I like to adjust is the space. So I'll set that to 3 just to see how it looks. And you can see that changes things a little bit here. Okay, so now I've got everything how I want it, so I'll go ahead and click Insert. Okay, and here I have my image down here. It's down at the bottom, but I actually want it at the top. It is aligned left like I asked it to, but if I just want to move it up to the top, I can simply drag and drop it all the way up here. Now it's all the way equal with the top. Now if I did have more text, so let me actually add some more text in there. You see it's in line with it there. So now my custom web page is well on its way with some text and a graphic. But maybe I'll add a video just to make it a little more useful. To add any type of video to the page, you'll just click on this icon here that looks like a film reel. And it actually says Moodle Media. So I'll go ahead and click that. And then just like with the image, I'll use this Finder Upload button. And then for this example, I'll use the YouTube repository since that makes it real easy. So I'll just go ahead and click YouTube over here. And you'll have to have this enabled on your site for it to be visible. So I'll click YouTube. And then let's search for a video explaining what Moodle is. So I'll search for what is Moodle and see what we come up with. Okay, and we've got quite a few options here. How about I'll just go ahead and start with this first one. And I'll select it. So I'll just click Select This File button to select it. And I'll show you a preview here, but we'll just click Insert to actually add it to the page. So right now it just looks like a link, but once I save it, you'll see that it's actually there. So I'll turn off the full screen mode so I can go back to the regular settings screen. Okay, and you can see all my content there. And if I scroll down, you'll see the link to the video. And then you also do have some options for how the page is displayed, but we'll go ahead and skip that and cover it later. 
And I'll go ahead and click the Save and Display button so you can see how the final web page looks. And here it is. Just like that, I have my page together with some text, a graphic, and a video. That's how easy it is to create a custom web page in Moodle. Not too bad for a page quickly thrown together. With a little more thought, I'm sure you can make something much more useful for your students. Okay, time for a little practice. Try creating your own custom web page using Moodle's HTML editor. Start by adding some text and graphics, and maybe a video, or maybe even a table to help organize the content on the page. In this video, you learned how to create content for your students with a custom web page. In the next video, you'll learn how to use the book resource to make a larger amount of content available to your students. That's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.